who have excelled in the discharge of their duties or on the field of performance throughout the year. Ladies and gentlemen gathered here, today we are officially launching the SWAG Awards for 2016 and our partners, MTN, would always want us to be here so that uh, they continue to be a wonderful host. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your stay. By the guests, ladies and gentlemen, we gathered here this afternoon at the plush head office of MTN to officially launch the 2016 MTN SWAG Awards to be held in Accra next month. It's been a year since we last gathered to launch this prestigious event, which honors outstanding sportsmen and sportsmen who excelled in sports, as well as distinguished corporate bodies and individuals who contributed positively to the development of sports in Ghana in 2016. The 42nd MTN Awards will be held on Saturday, May 27, at the banquet hall of the State House in Accra, at which honors will be conferred on individuals and teams in 20 competitive categories covering 18 different sporting disciplines, as well as special awards. As you're already aware, SWAG is a non-profit making professional body which depends solely on the benevolence of philanthropies and corporate bodies such as MTN and other partners for sponsorship to organize the awards night. And over the years, however, organizing the ceremony has become very, very expensive. And therefore, more than ever, we need a lot more financial assistance to support make the 42nd MTN Awards a resounding success. I'd like to seize the opportunity to once again thank MTN for partnering SWAG for the last seven years. And I always say, this is marriage for life. The most prestigious award category, the sports personality of the year, will be contested by professional boxer Emmanuel Gimboitego and Anthony Bafu, a former Black Stars player and now joint coordinator of World Cup and FIFA. I'm not going to bore you with a long list. As you can well glean from this, because the award ceremony is five years into the season, sometimes it loses a bit of its significance. But as we indicated, we want to make sure that some of the sportsmen and women who play their trade abroad can come and be part of the event. But I think over time, to make it more relevant, we want to host it as early as December, reflecting the year or latest January. And we know that our partners, headline sponsored MTN, would appreciate the time. Thank you all for coming. And once again, thank MTN for this wonderful relationship. Thank you. There's one thing that is close to my heart that I would want to uh, ask the SWAG president and his executive to work hard at getting it back. That's with the SWAG football, uh, SWAG Cup match. The SWAG Cup match is the very foundation of the SWAG uh, activities. In those days, when we started, it was the, immediately after the SWAG match, that the Cup match, that we, we, we had the awards night. You know, it followed immediately after. Because it, uh, at that time, we didn't have sponsors. Like, you have an almighty MTN now supporting you. We, we, we organized from the proceeds of the football match. And it was very, very essential that we played the match every year. And I, I'm sorry that for the past how many years? Only last, last year we did not play the match. We need to re get the match introduced, uh, reintroduced into the calendar. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let me first properly welcome you to MTN House. Last year, the visit following the event by the SWAG Sports Personality of the Year, Mr. Andre Dedeayu, to our offices was a special treat. And we thank you for that. We are again supporting SWAG for the 42nd MTN SWAG Awards Night with a package of 42,000 Ghana cities. 